Time to get wet. <laughs> He's your brother. Who does she think she is? I'm worried about her. She's completely different. Oh, it's worse than that. Kirsten just got activated. Now oh, come on, Stretch. This time you won't be able to bring me back. Stitchers, all new every Tuesday at 10, 9 central on Freeform. And catch up anytime with the app or on demand. Previously on Stitchers. She actually cried. That was real emotion. I've never seen her like that, have you? You were inside my head. What secrets did you see? Let's say I was trying to find someone who did want to disappear. Your father? Still, you messed up somewhere. You'll get him. You're obsessing, and I've seen what you're like when you're obsessed, and it's not pretty. The apartment is completely tricked out with smart appliances. Sorry, how much money do you make? What is going on with you? Climbing buildings, slugging people? How do I look? <laughs> I get a second chance to live my life. I'm not gonna live in fear anymore. I'm Mitchell Blair. How did you get in here? I built this place. Why do you want to learn how to hit stuff? Come on, you got shot. I want to know how to protect myself. You should be home resting. I'll rest when I'm dead and buried. Good to have you back, Quincy. Oh, look who's here. Thought we'd almost lost you, handsome. Nah, it was just a scratch. Seriously, how's it feel to get plugged in the chest? Twice. Don't recommend it. So why'd that guy go after you anyway? Ah, L.A. Confidential, huh? Have anything to do with that assignment you're on? What I hear? CIA? Is Melania in yet? I'm supposed to meet her. She's probably out busting balls somewhere. You'd think she'd have mellowed since her retirement. Yeah, mellow is not in her nature. <laughs> Melanie, it's Fish. I'm up at Dano's. You said you needed to talk. You better not be standing me up, Captain. Kirsten, meet Theo. My brother. <laughs> Ow! Don't get too comfortable either. Do you see how she treats me? That's how she treats everyone. You should really be thanking me, Mill. The house is dark. I don't want to wake you guys. So instead you just broke in. I, nothing's broken except for maybe my nuts. Where did you learn to kick like that anyways? Will you answer my question? I, I came to catch up with my sister. Really? So how many dead presidents is it going to take to end this little reunion? Harsh. Hey, I don't need your money. I've got some business here in LA. Business? Oh, that is the opposite of reassuring. We're up, first thing. Up for what? We work together. Oh, a little two for one action, huh? <laughs> yeah. Come on, Mill, you can't boot me out in the middle of the night. Um, he is your brother. So, see? This one's got a heart. Yeah, that's a recent development. Not sure I like it. One night. Love you. Look, all, all I'm saying is the fact that we share a gene pool doesn't entitle him to just show up uninvited. Well, I mean, he's here now. It's correct, but he doesn't get to just impose himself on my life. Who's imposing himself? Camille's brother, Theo. You have a brother? You, you never mentioned him before. Never came up. Older, younger? Calendar years older. Maturity level doesn't even chart. Calls her Millie. Thank you, chatty Kathy. 
Millie? Oh, I like it. Yeah, no, that's cute. no, no, you will not call me Millie. Millie is the girl I left behind in Bakersfield, and I busted my ass not to be her. So you're not glad to see your brother? Oh, Linus. Sweet, sheltered, raised in a stable home, Linus. I guess a small part of me is glad, but most of me knows when Theo shows up, trouble follows. We left him alone in our house. He wouldn't dare steal from me. From you, maybe. Kirsten, you got a sec? Mm -hmm. So, uh, how goes it? Any progress on the stinger front? Oh, I feel like he is a needle and the world is my haystack. Yeah. But I did ask Linda Edwards for advice. The psycho evil hacker lady. That being said, she seemed to think that I should play my strengths to find him. Your strengths? Okay. Tall. Blonde. Math. Hmm. Yeah, no. No, she may be, may be onto something. I mean, everything is math, so maybe there is an equation to solving the mystery of finding your father. I just have to figure one out. Huh. So what about you? What have you been up to? You sealed the deal on your motorcycle? No. I decided to put the brakes on the bike for now. A sensible decision. But I'm always down for adventure. You know me. Reborn to be wild. She was Fisher's mentor. He had to convince Maggie to bend the rules to let us touch. And those rules are? Hell if I know. Mission clock set to five minutes, please. Okay, team. Let's win one for the Fisher. And do stitch no sync on my mark in three, two, one, mark. I'm telling you, I don't remember anything. Perillo, you live there with him. She's talking to a cable guy named Ferrillo. Fifteen years ago, I was baked all the time. You lived with him. What was he doing? I didn't follow his every move. Wait, that's weird. There's a boy here. Seems like he's listening to Melanie's conversation. Ferrillo's son? Never mind. I'm in a different memory now. Melanie's apartment. She's got crime scene photos, notes, and maps tacked all over the wall. A murder board. That's how she tracked clues in a homicide investigation. I thought she was retired. Must have been working on something from home. We didn't see anything like that in her apartment. Cameron, let's keep things moving. Okay, Miss Marple, what else you got? What does RFI mean? Remove from investigation. That's uh, a cop lingo for remove from investigation. Detective Daniel Powell. Powell? He was junior to Mulaney. She always thought he was incompetent. Ask Kirsten to ID the case. Kirsten, can you see what case she's working on? The Ripper case, the RIP killer, eight victims, all posed the same way, on their backs with their hands folded on their chests. The serial killer? That psycho terrorized LA for years. He was never caught, was he? No. Mulaney took lead on that case, but she could never find him. Melanie was attacked from behind, knocked out with chloroform. Could it really be him? The Ripper? All things point to yes. Perp took the murder board. She must have gotten too close to catching him. He was the one that got away. The Ripper's victims ranged in age from 22 to 48. Both men and women. Highly unusual for a serial killer. An equal opportunity murderer. They were all killed in their own homes, and MO was always the same. Chloroform, strangulation, the RIP post. Melanie wasn't left like that. Yeah, but I think that that was purposeful. This time he didn't leave his signature. Must have figured no one would tie him to the murder. No, he didn't know we have a secret weapon. He started killing 15 years ago. Why did he stop for the last seven? Maybe he was in prison or left LA for a while. Or he controlled himself somehow until Melanie picked up his set. Here. She had a lot of suspects over the years, but the guy you saw in the stitch, Joseph Furlo, he was the first victim's roommate and a suspect, but she could never make him for the murder. That's so long ago, how do you remember? I remember things. So we checked out Joseph Ferrillo for you. He was in prison for the sale and possession of marijuana. But paroled recently after serving... Seven years? Six and a half. Close enough. Where did you see Mulaney question him? Out on the street. He worked at Pacific Charter Cable Truck 613. Let's go for a ride. LAPD's emailing you the archive ripper files. Okay, I'll look out for him. Oh, 
still got away with words. I should go check on my brother before he burns the house down. Well, I'll come with. I, I want to meet him. Uh, you met my parents. Your parents are nice. My brother is a douche. Right. Fine, I need a ride. Come on. Taco cart? Well, you didn't seem to like it when I showed up at your lab, so. I'm sure you know why I wanted to see you. There were extenuating urgent circumstances. The victim was Quincy Fisher. I don't care who the sample is or was or wasn't. You don't get to select our cases. Then who does? You? You made me acting director. You want me to do my job to the best of my ability. Then I need to understand the mechanics of the cases. Fisher's friend. His mentor. Yes, his mentor. There is a purity to our cases, and this Mulaney thing is screwing with that. Well, we've already stitched into her. We're gonna lose Fisher if we don't proceed with the investigation. Then it seems the decision has been made for me. I just hope you haven't ruined everything. Okay, wait, oh. Wow, he got off his ass. I'm shocked. Great. What fresh hell is this? You're doing a dish? I actually did all of your dishes. You're welcome. Oh, what's up, man? Theo. Linus. You a uh, friend of Millie's? Millie. <laughs> yeah. Camille and I are friends from work. Oh, yeah? What angle you work in these days? I don't have one. I have a thing called a job, which you should try sometime. <laughs> and thank you so much for cleaning up after yourself. But I think it's right around that time for you to gather your things and... Oh, you're gonna kick me out? In front of your friend? I mean, that's just cold. Fine. Cool. Hey, Linus, let's kick it, man. I think the uh, Clippers game's coming on. Yeah. He seems nice. Joe Frillo? Yeah. Hey! What the hell's he Whoa, might want to think twice about that. What the hell were you thinking? That's the beauty of it. I wasn't. I didn't kill that cop. I didn't kill any of those people. Where were you last night around 7.15? Out for dinner. Oh, really? With knives and forks like real human beings? Why don't you try your comedy act on my parole officer? I ate with her last night. Sushi. So that's a no on the knives and forks. If you're so innocent, why'd you run? Hand it over. Come on. Ooh. I'll overlook this parole violation in exchange for you telling me why Captain Mullaney paid you a visit recently. She wanted to know what I remembered about Chad's murder. And I'll tell you exactly what I told her. Nothing. I was a major stoner back then. More major than now. So your roommate was killed and you don't remember anything? I found him laid out like a corpse and I called 911. And that's all you remember? Yep. Can I go back to work now? Go. Can I have my... No. He's hiding something. Mm -hmm. So what's next? There he is. Danny Powell. Fish. How you doing, huh? Read about Mulaney. Shocker. Yeah, because you and she were so close. You know she had a murder board on the Ripper case with her picture on it? Why'd she focus on you? Even though you're RFI. Are you talking crap about me to civilians? 
NSA recruits out of high school. <laughs> LAPD recruits out of Betty Ford. Pump drunk. Where were you last night? Less. You think I killed her? So I'm the Ripper. It's so messed up. Look, she came to me a few days ago asking about prescription pills from the first Vic's apartment. Pills? Yeah, like I'm supposed to remember something from a crime scene from how many years ago? I mean, why was she still working that case anyway? Because she was trying to catch a killer. She was retired. All she did was poke a bear. She wasn't murdered. That was suicide by obsession. Now, if you were still a real cop instead of an NSA puppet, you'd know that. Oh, 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 oh. Easy, gentlemen. Take a breath. Let's go, Blake. No one made you referee. Right. Still, why don't you cool down, go back to your corner. How are you, Quincy? I know you've had a rough time lately. We're here on the Mullaney case. Agents Clark Goodkin, this is Andrew Blake. He's a psychologist that works with us as a profiler. Did you ever consult with Captain Mullaney? Yes, she came to me the other day. I wanted a fresh set of eyes on the Ripper case. Why? <laughs> Dude, she did not. <laughs> yeah, bro, I'm telling you, butt naked through the trailer park. Wow. Billy, you were a wild one. First of all, only he's allowed to call me that. Second, he's not allowed to call me that. Third, it was 100 degrees that night, and I only went outside because our trailer went up in flames thanks to that genius there, so. <laughs> That's a grease fire. Yeah, I was, uh, I was making bacon. Drunk at two in the morning. Hey, beer goes good with bacon. Mm. Do you want some? Bacon? Yeah, my boy. <laughs> Nothing good can come of this, trust me. Just meet him halfway. I, I don't even... I... Hey, is Angleson here? Why, why would he be here? Because he said he would be. You a sister? I mean, I don't like to admit that publicly. <laughs> is he here or what? No, I'm sorry. I haven't seen him tonight. Well, if he shows up, tell him Duke wants his money. Get in line. That bastard owes me 600 bucks. I'll kick his ass if I see him. <laughs> sorry, better luck next time. You brought your crap into my house. Calm down. I can't believe for a second I believe you, you, that you might have come here to actually spend time with me or I don't. Millie, I needed a place to lay low while a guy who owes me a few grand gets flush. As soon as he pays, I'll settle it with those two punks. Get out. Millie. You lied to me. Big surprise. I mean it, Theo. Go. Actually, you, you probably are going to want to slip out the back. Yeah, meet him halfway. Oh my god, listen, if you want a mojito, just order it yourself. Yeah, I can't do that. Thank you. This is a cop bar. You're the girl. <laughs> yes, I'm the girl. Whatever. You two are partners. Uh, yeah, professionally. Yeah. <laughs> it's way beyond that. Look, it's my job to read people, and I'm reading a lot of unresolved tension. Uh, yeah, tension, there's there's no tension. Yeah, we get along just fine. Mm. Sometimes we even like each other. Sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> but you know what's funny? Um, I actually live, like, two blocks away from here. I never even knew this place existed. Yeah. Dano's is a well-kept secret. Yeah, not so secret. All the booths are taken. <laughs> so, Mulaney asked you to profile the Ripper. Yes, but she died before I could give her a formal report. So what can you tell us informally? Well, from the evidence, I can say that the killer is single, in his 50s by now, uneducated, blue collar, antisocial, hot tempered. The way he poses the victims in the classic peaceful corpse pose suggests he comes from a strict, perhaps fanatical, religious background. So why do he stop for seven years? That is a good question. In rare instances, 
A serial killer can contain his compulsion or channel his rage in some other way. I hope I've been helpful. Yeah. Thanks for your time, Doc. Oh, and I hope you two resolve things. You know, NSA, it's a lot of responsibility. It's not healthy to be so unsettled. Hmm. Uh, did we ask for couple therapy? Yeah, no, I don't think so. Hey, when can we stitch again? Refractory period's not up till morning. Excuse me, miss, can she get a mojito? Theo, what's up, man? I, uh, I reached out to a couple dudes I know, but no one's gotten back to me yet. It's cool if I crash here. Uh, yeah, how did you... Millie's not the only one who knows how to use a computer. Damn! Yo, check out that flat screen, dog. Porn must be ridiculous on this thing. Hey, man, I, I don't think this is a good idea. Oh, look, man, I'm sorry you had to see what went down between me and my sister, but I mean, can you know how it is with family sometimes? You love each other, you just drive each other crazy. Yeah, actually, I'm kind of on the outs with my father right now. Yeah, exactly what I'm saying. And, and look, if you don't want me to stay with you, I get it. We're cool. You know what? It, it's all right if you stay here for a day or two. Awesome! Okay, yeah, man. This is gonna be much better than staying with Millie anyhow. She is such a tight ass. Hey, now. yo. Oh, are you two... A real gentleman. Good for her. She deserves it. What are you doing here? You don't like it? Arrest me for breaking and entering. I just had to hit something today. Bad day? The capital B for brother. I hear yoga's good for stress relief. Screw yoga. So the theory has been that the Ripper's victims are all random, right? Men and women, all different ages, neighborhoods, backgrounds, but what do they all have in common? Think about their jobs. We had a pilot, a surgeon, first victim was a bus driver. They were all responsible for other people's lives. Ding, ding, point goes to the brainy blonde. Good work, except why would he target them? That's as far as I got. I don't have the answers for everything. I've mapped Captain Mulaney's memories back 15 years, but they've degraded. Can't vouch for quality. No, still worth a shot. Hey, you got a sec? Linus! He just showed up at my door. I should have locked it. You didn't feed him, did you? We ordered in. Oh, so nobody taught you never to feed a stray. He's your brother. I mean, he's family. He played you, he's been playing you. And me, it's what he does. We had a long talk this morning. He, he feels really bad about how he left things off with you. He's trying to make things right. As soon as he leaves LA, things will be stunningly right between us. Come to dinner tonight. No. C come on, I'll cook for the three of us. Maybe if you see him in a different space, you'll view him differently. Linus, stay out of it. Just kind of hard since he's camping out in my apartment. Let's give him a chance. And do stitch no sync on my mark in three, two, one, mark. Melanie's at the board again. The section around the first victim is glowing. An emotional hotspot. She's comparing the evidence log to the crime scene photos. I think there's something wrong with one of the photos. It's the pill bottle, but I can't tell what the prescription's for. No record of prescription drugs entered into evidence. Uh, yo, Starling, those pills weren't recorded as evidence. But there is a picture of them. Can you take me back to the time of the first crime scene? Yeah, 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 hold on. I'm here. So you weren't home last night? I slept in Laurel Canyon. I'll need an address. No, like I slept in Laurel Canyon. I, I passed out outside somewhere. I came home and found Chad this way. Yo, fish. You're not gonna Ralph on the Vic, are you? Oh, Fisher, you're here. You look good in a uniform. You never told me you were there. It wasn't my best moment. <laughs> What's the matter? You've never seen a stiff before. Knock it off, pal. Fisher. Yes, ma'am. You were first on the scene? Mm. Yes, ma'am. Is there anyone here besides Mr. Ferrillo? No, ma'am. Get out of there!
I'm bouncing. Perilla stole the pills. I told you before, I don't remember anything about that day. What about the pills you stole from the crime scene? Oh, oh I thought I knew you. You were that rookie. Melanie realized they were missing. It just took her a while. The statute of limitations is up on that. True, but not for that bag of weed you had in your pocket. All right. She asked me about Chad's meds. I figured, why tell her? Why'd you take them? I thought it was Oxy. I was going to sell it for street value. Turns out it was Zoloff. Street value. Crap. So your roommate was depressed? <laughs> Drove the same miserable bus route every day. Wouldn't you be? Do you remember who prescribed those pills? Sure. Dr. Kook. Really? That's his name? Dr. Kukra. Dr. Kook was a hack shrink. Show up with a referral and some cash, and he'd dispense pills like a gumball machine. Dr. Nick Kukra lost his medical license for playing too fast and furious with his prescription pad, shut down his practice two years ago. Where is he now? Driving a cab in LA. A psychiatrist turned cabbie. Does he fit the profile Blake gave us? Profile is just a tool. We're tracking hard evidence. We don't know if this Dr. Kukra is our killer or just linked to him in some way. Can you ping the- GPS on his taxi? Location and permit number arriving on your cells in three, two, you're welcome. And Fisher, nothing says thank you like another self-defense sesh. You got it. Let's go get him. And um, let's leave the foot chase to Fisher this time. What? Foot chase? I just helped apprehend a witness. Yeah, your daredevil days are over. Maggie, I was just... I'm already in the hot seat with Blair. I don't need you taking any risks with this case. You can't bench me now. I just did. Let them handle it. Kirsten, let's go. Hey. Cheer up, slugger. Maggie won't keep you in the dugout forever. It's not that. It's just this doesn't make any sense. I've been reading how serial killers work. That's a scary thing to have in your search history. I'll clear it later, but they... They classify them by motive and organizational patterns, and the profile just does not match the rippers. Where are you going? I'm gonna go see a psychologist. About time. Heard that, Melly. Let's go get this over with. Whipped up some of my favorites. Mm. Um, no offense, man, this looks Interesting, but maybe some mac and cheese. How about you eat and be grateful for yet another in a series of free meals? <laughs> it's all right. Sog paneer is an acquired taste. I think I've got some leftover pasta. Unclench, Millie. You'd really learn something from my boy here. Bro, you are so much more chill than the dude she used to bring around. Shut up, Theo. No, seriously, a parade of losers. You may have noticed that I have changed absolutely everything since Bakersfield. Looking at your sorry ass shows me just how much. Oh, like you're so much better than me. Did she ever tell you how she ripped off a church's collection plate? Uh, oh, okay, bro, come on. That's enough. Ah, Millie cons people. I mean, look, you can take the girl out of the trailer, but you can't take the trash what out of- What the hell is wrong with you? You're my big brother. This is how you speak about me? <laughs> Down, girl. You are so pissed off and angsty because your life is utter crap. But that's not my fault, Theo. You took off and forgot about me. I did everything for you when our parents left. It was your responsibility to be taking care of me. I tried to help you, and you kept screwing up. Not like you, huh? Because you're such a big deal now. Well, I'm sorry. I can't do this. Camille. Oh, I gotta go. Come go on. on. Nah, let her go, man. She's just a stuck-up bitch. Don't talk about her like that. You treat your sister with respect. Wow. That's a big set of balls for a little guy. Come on. Linus, just take me home. Yeah, you heard her, Linus. What? She said take her home. I want you gone by the time I get back. The 
license plate matches the permit. Doctor's not in. Engine's cool, he's been here a while. The lock's missing. Hey, get behind me. He was looking for something fast. Looks like medical records from his practice. Yeah. Fisher? Yeah? Agent Goodkin, you here for a mojito? Sorry to uh, bother you. You got a you got a sec? Sure. Have a seat. So the uh, the profile you gave us, the the serial killer you described, it, it doesn't line up with what we know of the Ripper. Really? How so? Well, he chloroforms his victims first, and then he chokes them to kill quickly, silently, minimal use of violence, and then he carefully poses them. Your profile would suggest a killer whose murders are full of rage. Bloody, sloppy. Interesting. Um, I apologize. I was working from memory. If I had my laptop, I could access my notes. Well, I, I live like two blocks away from here. Do you want to use mine? Is it that urgent? It's just that my colleagues are out on the field and I'd like to tell them if they're, you know, barking up the wrong tree. Okay, sounds like a plan. Really? Yeah. Thank you. Sure. Forensics is on the way. The Ripper must have followed or lured Dr. Kukra here. Apparently to steal something that would incriminate him. Did you notice his cell anywhere in that mess? No, why? Because if, if he was lured here, maybe the Ripper called him. His number's on the permit for his cab. Got it. Okay, hey, check the incoming calls. I know this number. Danos? Hey, it's Fisher. Did you make a phone call a couple hours ago to Dr. Kukra? Is that a real name? Yes. And did you? Forget making calls. I barely have time to pee. Did anyone else use the phone, Kate? Think hard. Fisher, it's crazy busy. I don't know who else used the phone. Yeah, let me talk to him. Fisher, it's Bell. I saw Blake make a call from here. He said he forgot his cell. Is he still there? Left here a while ago with that kid who was with you yesterday, the one with the hair. Here we are. Home. Nice. You live here alone? Yeah, yeah, just me. Huh. Sounds peaceful. This is a great space. Your style is very eclectic and expensive. Trust fund, baby? Having family money embarrasses you. No, not really. It's just kind of, you know, private. So then I embarrassed you. Should we get started? Yes, let's. Any progress with your lady friend? Huh? Might as well take advantage of a, a free counseling session. Yeah, you're right. But I, I don't know. I just think now's like not the best time. It's the perfect time. If you had told her how you feel, could have found closure or opened the door to something wonderful. You talk like it's too late. <laughs> She's left you in turmoil. I can help you feel at peace. Yeah, you know what? I should probably have been Fisher. Oh, there he is now. He's gonna have to leave a message. You're the Ripper. It's an awful moniker. A gun, that's not your M.O. I don't have time for civility anymore. You think what you did to those people was civil? What I did, I did out of kindness. 
They were all tortured souls who came to me for help. But none of them wanted their employers to know. Why? You know what could happen if a depressed man pilots a plane? How about a suicidal surgeon? Did you go under her knife? So you're the therapist? I tried to counsel them. I even sent the first one, that bus driver, to a doctor who could prescribe medication. Dr. Kukro. He won't have much to say anymore. Don't trust pills anyway. No guarantee that they'll work. You were there. Guarantee. I was their savior. I brought them peace, and I protected all the innocent people that they might have harmed. You stopped for seven years. I found a different way to use my gifts. I went to work with the police. You underestimated Captain Mullaney. Everything was fine. I was fine. But she just kept digging. She made me start again. I had to find peace for her. I had to. And now I'll find it for you. It's a funny story, actually, Dr. Blake. Um, I recently died. Well, we all feel that way sometimes. No, like, I really died. And then I was revived, so... I'm not afraid to die. And whatever happens between me and Kirsten, I will be at peace with it. The only person who's not at peace in this room, Dr. Blake, is you. And you'll never be. No, I. I am the giver of peace. To everyone but yourself. That's why when I'm done with you, I'm gonna give myself the peace that I have never known. I've seen what's on the other side, Dr. Blake, and I promise someone like you will never find peace there. Don't move! Don't move! Stay on the ground, Are you all right? No, I am. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney. So, you were kind of a badass tonight. Kind of a turn on. <laughs> <laughs> well, then it was worth it. Seriously, thank you, Linus. C-O-R. Really knows how to push my buttons. And I clearly don't handle it very well. You know I've always got your back. So he's gone. Right, he left? Yep. He cleared out. I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, okay, bye. Did you stop? I'm fine. Cameron. The way you've been acting, like, charging right into things, and you're so impulsive. I don't know if you're overcompensating or if you're trying to impress me. But... No, it's not about you. It, it's just how I want to live my life now. That's it. It's unafraid. Kirsten, you know how I feel about you. You do. I, I know what you must have seen when you're in my head. And you. You might not feel the same way, maybe you do, I, I hope you do, but maybe you're just not ready. And that's all right. I, um, I have just been so flooded with all of these feelings and emotions. And, and, and most people have their whole lives to learn how to deal with them, and I've only had like a few weeks, you know, so. I don't know how I feel. I. I don't know what I feel. 
you know, and I'm also, I'm trying to find my dad. And you just need time. Like, it's, it's what you're trying to tell me. It's... Is it okay? Yeah. For now, it is. Okay, and if there comes a time where you know how you feel, just, just tell me. Okay, and we'll just figure out where we go from there. your house to ask, but I didn't know how. Laney always busted my chops. The thing is, she was right about me. Never too late to be the cop she hoped you could be, man. To Mulaney. To Mulaney. To Mulaney. Too long to tell him how I felt. Did I walk in on something? Who does she think she is? Giving me orders. <laughs> we are talking about a horde of flesh eating nanobots. It's worse than that. Everything just went dark. <laughs> Carson, what's wrong? <gasps> All new Stitchers next Tuesday at 10 on Freeform. Catch up anytime with the app or on demand.